Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me here in the gallery at WGK Glass Art. Hopefully you guys saw our post earlier that our sign is now up on Newark Road. Yes, yes, so you guys, it'll be easy for you guys to find us. So just follow the path of the sign so you can get to the studio and see our radiometers here. Hi, Olga. So as you guys can see, the sun is shining so beautifully today in Tough Kinnaman, Pennsylvania, which gives the radiometers the spin that they are having right now. The sun was a little bit more intense earlier, so the radiometers were really, really spinning, but now they're slowing down now that the sun is hiding behind the trees. So as you guys can see here, we have our radiometers hanging in our beautiful window here in the gallery. And our hanging radiometers come in many different shapes, sizes, and styles. Some have painted orchids on top. As you guys can see here, hi Claire. Some have dragons painted on a panel. Here's a fire breathing dragon. And below it is a dragon egg a radiometer dragon egg, and you see the dragon being hatched out of the egg. We also create them with the Tiffany style owl at the top, and below is a pear shaped radiometer with flowers painted on top. Here's a larger oval shaped with red orchids painted on top. This one has a blue top paint. Not, this isn't painted on, this is blue glass actually. We also make them standing, well, as tabletop. Here we have a right variety, some are clear, some have the colored glass, some have the painted garden style on top, different shapes and sizes. The radiometer is also known as light mills. The radiometer was an invention by an English physicist by the name of Crookes back in the 1800s, so they've been around for a while. We just decided to add our own little decorative spin to them. And as you guys can see the black surface there inside the radiometer, the black surface of the solar wing wheel, which is a circle of elements which are sensitive to light, absorbs the light much more than the silver side. The silver side reflects the light. So because of the stronger heating of the air molecules on the black surface, a higher pressure arises there that leads to a rotary motion of the solar wings that gives it its spin. And I wish you guys could have seen them earlier. They were so racing. And it's so calming to watch these. I have one in my window at home. And whenever I get a chance to just sit in my little quiet area, I just sit there and watch it. And it really, really relaxes me. So this rotary motion is the result of light incidences, as well as a possible, a light bulb would also work like inside your home, even though the sun may not be shining. If it's in a well-lit room, then it would also work. So the more intense the light is, the faster the wheel will go. So these don't measure anything. They're just spinning because of the light. They also can be called a small solar power station. So guys, I pasted the link for our radiometers on our website in the description of this live. I just wanted to give you guys a little overview of our radiometers and let you guys know our sign is now up. So we should be easy to find, but we still ask that you Give us a call to make an appointment because sometimes we're on the road. Like next Tuesday, we're, we'll be in Ohio from Tuesday the 20th until the 27th. 
So we'll be in, in Ohio, in Lauraville, Ohio, at a show at Jack Pine Studios. So if any of you guys are in that area, please feel free to try and get tickets. Contact Jack Pine Studio. And um, hopefully you will be able to meet. Hey, Steven. Hope everything is good with you. So again, guys, these are our radiometers. Hopefully you can find one on our website that suits you. Don't forget that Christmas is coming up. These make great presents, not just for others, but also for yourself. Thanks for joining me here in the gallery. Hope you guys take care.